Welcome back. So I did decide to put a TV in the Wii Roll, and I decided to go with a 32 inch. What happened was they were on sale, and I figured out a good spot for it, I believe, and couldn't resist. So let's talk about how I ended up mounting it. The studs inside the Wii Roll are, I believe, every like 20 inches. So you have one in the corner, then you have one a little further out and further out. To mount that on center would not do because there's nothing in the wall to mount it to. So I came up with a great solution, I think. I thought, well, I wonder if they make an articulating arm that just comes out, a single arm that comes out so I could mount it onto the closest stud and have it come out. It lined up almost exactly right. Well, really exactly right. When I found one with a single arm, I found this one at Harbor Freight. The single arm extends and offsets it by about seven and a half inches. And that's about exactly what I needed to make it line up to be center on this wall. Let me show you how this works then, because I mounted it on that stud right there, which runs right down through there and I offset it. That little piece of tape I put there just so the hinge, uh, when it, comes against the wall won't scratch the wall no one will ever see that because it'll be behind the tv anyway and then when i put this out here i can articulate it and i can view it anywhere from the door and where we're sitting and i plan to have a sitting area there all the way to here and then if we're in the bed then you just do it at a slight angle and it works out there too the brand I ended up going with was not a high-end brand. It was an Insignia Fire TV, and surprisingly, it has a great picture. So no worries there. It was about $109.99 on sale at Best Buy and also on Amazon. Of course, Insignia is a Best Buy brand, but apparently you can get them directly on Amazon as well. Let's take a little look more at what I did. So I... Also thought while I'm going down the road, that arm's going to articulate a little bit. Let me bounce the, you see it may bounce and I don't want it swinging out on the road. So I came up with a way to retain it against the wall when it's in stowed position or just flat against the wall. I made a bracket right here that helps support it. And for road mode, that clips it in. And now it's rock solid. That worked out as well too. I just had some scrap piece of aluminum and fashioned that out. Made it into an L bracket. Of course, you could go get a shelf bracket, probably do something similar. There's naturally some holes right there for the stand where they form it. And I was able to put a couple plastic studs to be able to catch. It's almost fall off the bed to be able to catch this. So to release it, after I get where I'm going, I just pull down a little bit and swing it out. And there's those plastic studs that I was able to use there. Those are automotive studs that you would use to attach, you know, a cowling or something like that under the hood. And I had a few of those. So it's just, I made out something that would work. And again, I just fashioned that out of some aluminum I already had on hand. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out and with the way that it's easy to uh, secure it against the wall you just do it like that and it'll stay and it's rock solid going down the road so that's how i installed my tv for the wii roll the other thing i did was i ran the power and it also it runs behind the curtain so most of the time it's not seen except for that little piece right there all right so like share and subscribe thanks for watching Mm-hmm.